Welcome back friends. So in this video, we will be uh, creating a new project and the directory structure to continue uh, with the uh, tutorial. So I'm using WebStorm and like I always say, you can use any ID of your choice. So I'm going to create an empty project, although uh, this uh, IDE has an inbuilt uh, node.js express app generator but we will not be using this so I will be using an empty project structure here and we'll name it CMS tutorial okay uh, give it a couple of minutes to load the project and it will give me a blank empty folder there okay so here we as you can see I don't have any files or any folders as if now but uh, I will create certain directories here uh, so the first one that I will create here would be my uh, let's say models folder so inside this folder I'll, I'll keep all my models okay next I'll create a folder to store the configuration like the database URLs and all those things of course you can uh, keep that directly on in your app.js file but I like to keep things organized and uh, next will be a public folder uh, which will be uh, which will contain the files accessible by the audience like the style sheet the JavaScript files, all those things, which we'll be using in this particular uh, video or tutorial series. So inside the public directory, I'll create another directory name, name it CSS, and another one name it JS. Of course, you can name it anything you like. Also, I'll create a directory at the root level and name it routes. Another one, I'll name it. Uh, controllers another one uh, which I will name as views because we will be using a view engine known as handlebars and it uh, looks for this views folder by default so inside this view folder I'll create a couple of directories one will be the default view for our home page and all and another, the other one will be my admin view Apart from this, uh, I'll store my my layouts in the layouts folder, which is which will be inside the views folder. Okay, and then uh, I will have another directory. I'll name as partials. So partials uh, directory will be used to store. Uh, different parts of, of my template okay so I will have a header I will have a footer I can store everything in this partial directory and of course my partial will be for two different layouts that's one is the admin and one is the default so I'll have two different folders under the partials if you can or can I mean if you want you can have different directories or you can simply store everything inside the partials folder it will work but I like to keep my things uh, organized so I'll name a uh, default directory for the, for the default uh, partials and an admin directory for the admin partials. Okay. So we will stop here. Okay. So that, that should be all regarding our directory structure. And I'll see you next with the uh, uh, first file of our project that's the app.js and I'll also show you how to initialize the project using the npm init command okay till then stay tuned and thank you so much bye bye